Welcome to Project Free Jazz. This is the first in a series of four tutorials in which I will be using Super Collider programming language to generate music uh, in the style of Free Jazz or something resembling it at least. Um, Super Collider is a programming language that is specialized in audio synthesis and also in uh, algorithmic composition. And if you look around on the net, you will find that many of the tutorials about Super Collider focus on synthesis and that's what it's also really good at, at. Uh, but it's not what I want to do in this series of tutorials at least in the first ones I will concentrate on uh, algorithmic composition instead and to avoid all the problems associated with creating expressive instruments in Super Collider I will just be generating MIDI events and sending those to external synthesizers which will automatically sound good uh, so that's one less thing to worry about. For generating these MIDI events I will be using something called Patterns and it, it's a very powerful abstraction available in Super Collider. And these patterns you can compare them more or less to a prescription from a doctor. Uh, the prescription from the doctor has is not a medicine in itself. It uh, it contains just a description of the chemicals that you need and it's the pharmacist who interprets the recipe and who create, who mixes up the chemicals for you and actually delivers you the medicine you need. Um, it's the same in, in Super Collider. The pattern itself is just a specification. It does not generate anything itself. If you want to generate, if you want to get numbers or events from patterns, you will have to uh, convert the pattern to a stream first and then you can ask the stream to generate the numbers. The stream is like the pharmacist that interprets the prescription. Okay, this sounds a bit uh, vague now, I guess, so let's have a quick look at some Super Collider. If you start Super Collider, you will see you have an IDE window where you can type in code blocks. Code blocks are pieces of code that appear between round brackets. You also have here a post window in which you can see debug information or error information that comes from Super Collider when you run your uh, programs. So in this first very simple uh, example I have created a variable with the name stream and into that variable I've put a pattern called pwhite and pwhite I have con this pattern I have converted to a stream. Now what does pwhite do? P white will generate random numbers and we ask, we give it some parameters, so we say it has to generate numbers between 50 and 70 and it has to generate exactly 5 of them. Again, it's not the pattern that generates the numbers, it's the stream that generates the numbers. So we've now created, so I will execute this code by putting my cursor at the end of the code block and then pressing Ctrl Enter or on a on a Mac that would be command enter. You see I've executed this line of code and I see here that something has happened. The important thing to know is that in this variable now I have a stream that should generate pattern uh, numbers according to this specification. And we can interrogate a stream for the values uh, by calling next on it. So every time we call next on it we get a new value from the uh, pattern according to this pattern specification. But of course, when I now ask for the sixth value in the stream, the pattern suddenly returns, the stream, sorry, suddenly returns nil. And nil means that the values are exhausted. Nil is a special value in Super Collider to mean there's no value. And indeed, it's, it makes sense because we specified in our pattern that we only wanted to get five numbers. And so indeed, after exactly five numbers, we started to get nil and every time I call next on that path on that stream again I will keep getting nil and the only way to get something else than nil from it again is to uh, instantiate a new pattern turn it into a stream again and then you can again get five values from it now this is important every time you have a pattern and its associated stream returns nil that means that when you when later we will be playing uh, musical events from these patterns uh, whenever you return nil the pattern ends so then the system can move on to other patterns for example 
You might wonder now why we need these random number generators and the reason is simple, we need a source of creativity for our algorithmic composition. Uh, you can have many sources of creativity. You could, uh, for example, take the, the positions of the stars in the night sky and map those to musical parameters. Or you could measure your brain waves with a, with a special device and use those to drive uh, music. I will just be using random number generation. Uh, and uh, the, the good thing is that there are many types of random number generators and they all uh, have different musical applications and they sound different. And exactly how that works and what it means will become clear in part two of Project Free Jazz. So see you then.